it was Rebecca. I know she was the one that took the phone off the hook on purpose. Now, Nola, what reason would Rebecca have for doing that? If she knew what I was going to tell Quentin, she'd have plenty of reasons. So what are you going to tell her? That Rebecca Cartwright can talk. <laughs> That's why she had the operation. What's the big news? The big news is that she can talk and she isn't talking. <sighs> Look, Quentin made me a promise before he left. He said once Rebecca could talk, she would be out of our lives forever and we could start a new life together. Mrs. Renfield, do you remember earlier when I told you about the, what Quentin was going to promise me, you know, what he promised me to... Yes, of course I do, Nola. I bet Rebecca heard every word, and I bet she was the one who took the phone off the hook. Oh, wait a minute. Come on. Now, when did you hear uh, her talk? Right after Quentin left for the airport, I was walking down the hall past her room. Well, maybe you just wanted to hear her talk so bad that you only thought you did. No, I heard her. She can talk. And I just want to tell Mr. McCord so I can get back here. <sighs> okay, fine. Um... Mrs. Renfield, I told my mom I'd call her and tell her everything was okay here. Can I use this phone? Of course, Anthony. Thank you. Yeah, Ma, it's Tony. Listen, I'm still over at McCord's and everything is fine here, okay? Yeah, I'm sure. Mom, they're okay. Everybody's okay. Oh, I forgot. Well, I ought to be back in about 15 minutes, okay? Yeah, well, I'll see you then. Bye. Mom just reminded me, uh, Quentin said he was going to call back at the boarding house, make sure everything was okay. Well, then I'm going to go with you, because I want to talk to him. That's one place where she can't take the phone off the hook. Goodbye, Anthony. Bye, Mrs. Renfrew. Mr. McCord, wherever you are, please call. For Nola's sake as well as your own. Yeah, Mr. McCord did call, honey, but you missed him by five minutes. I have a message for you, though. I wrote it down. I couldn't make head or tail of it. Here it is. It says, ah, uh, can't read my writing. Saw the doctors in Zurich, and there's no physical impairment. Does it make any sense to you? Yeah, did he say what, house, uh, what hotel he was staying at? Uh, yes, he did, but he said he was checking out and he wasn't going to be back. Is he coming home? No, no, he said he had some more business to do. And you wouldn't be able to get in touch with him in a while, but let me see. He said, don't worry about it because what he's doing uh, has to do with what's best for both of you. Is that it? Yeah, except that he was very relieved when he found out that there was nothing wrong with the telephone, you know, that it was just off the hook when he called. and. As far as I can tell, everything's fine. No, everything's not fine. What do you mean? Because I won't be able to tell him. Oh, uh, tell him what, dear? Well, it, it's very involved, but it... It's a long story, Ma. I've already heard it. Listen, if you want to ride back out to McCord's, give me a holler out the back door. I'm going to go out and make sure Garibaldi's men are doing what they're supposed to. Okay, sweetie. What's the matter, honey? I don't know. Everything's very involved. <clears throat> Listen, dear, maybe you better come over and sit by me and tell me what's on your mind. Come on. Come on, tell me. Well, it... <clears throat> everything has to do with... with Rebecca Cartwright. Oh. Oh, you mean the lady? The lady that had all those operations? Yes, this last operation were on her vocal cords because she could... so she could talk, right? Yeah. Well, Quentin feels this sense of of commitment to her, and that commitment won't be over until she can talk, right? Yeah. Well, she had these operations, and the doctors say that they were all successful, that she should be able to talk, but she's not. Well, now, <clears throat> I walked by her room the other night, and I heard her talking. I heard her speaking. Quentin promised me before he left that as soon as she could talk, that she would be out of our life for forever, and that we could have a life together. Well, I don't see what the problem then, honey. Listen, as soon as you hear from him, or, or as soon as he gets in touch with you, or you with him, you can tell him and that'll be there. It's not that simple. Why not? Well, you see, I was telling Mrs. Renfield what Quentin promised me. Yeah. And I think Rebecca overheard. I think she heard our conversation. Why do you think that? Because all morning long we were waiting for his call to come through and the phone was off the hook. Rebecca's phone? Yes, that's what I... I 
thought so. So oh. Mrs. Renfield, Tony, and I all went up to her room to check it out. Her phone was okay, but I know that that phone was off the hook before we went up there, and there she was in the room, writing a note like she couldn't talk. But I know she can't talk. You mean she's just pretending she can't talk? That's right. Why would she do that? The only reason that I can think of is to keep her hold on Quentin. And I have to do everything I can to make sure that she doesn't get away with that. How's the baby? She's taking a nap. Well, were you able to speak with Mr. McCord? No. He called before we got to the boarding house. But no, I am sure he will call here the moment that he is able. No, he's, he's not going to. He told Mom that he was leaving Zurich and that he would be out of touch for a few days. And not to worry. Because he said whatever he was doing, he was doing for us. Sometimes I get so tired of hearing that I could just scream. No, love. Surely you realize that all the efforts that Mr. McCord is putting into everything is bent upon ensuring a future for you and your baby. A future with him, if possible. I know that. I know that. But I also know that Rebecca can talk. So what is it, Mrs. Renfield? What is it? What kind of hold does she have over him? Why won't anybody tell me? All right. Whatever it is, it's going to be over soon. As soon as I tell Quentin that Rebecca can talk. He's playing games, Mrs. Renfield. And I'm on to those games. Not Rebecca or anyone else is going to get in the way of our future together. Nobody. I just wish I knew what it was. Maybe she's trying to get back at him in some way, or, or hurt him, or something. I don't know. But I do know one thing. She better not try to hurt him, Mrs. Renfield, or she's gonna have to deal with me first. Mm -hmm.